Alright, so I have kind of two mini presentations. One is on the state of Ruby testing, which is like a last meetup I said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we had a survey that said what version of Ruby are you using, what testing do you have? So I like made up a survey and like over 100 people filled it out, so I was pretty, pretty excited about that. Um, so I figured I would share that. How, who has seen this blog post or whatever already? Just like show of hands. Okay. Who filled it out? Anybody? Okay, so that's about the same amount of people. I think I emailed everyone who filled it out and gave them their email address, so um, I figured that would probably be a high uh, thing. But I'll just go over that real quick and then uh, I can kind of figure out. Um, all right, so I asked a few questions. Uh, let's see, what versions of Ruby have you ever tried out? Or which versions of Ruby do you currently have in production? Uh, what testing frameworks are your active project using? If you're starting a new Rails project right now, what testing frameworks should you use? And same thing with mocking and uh, also populating testing data, like using fixtures and whatnot. Um, so I created some sweet open office graphs, uh, which took more time than I cared, which would care to share. But um, so so it seems like a wide variety of Ruby versions have ever been used by the people who were you know giving out the sur who were filling out the survey, or whatever. Primarily 187, 192. RE. Um, so, and then as far as like what are you actually using in production or for real apps, it seems like, uh, you know, 192, actually I was kind of surprised to see it be that high. I thought it would be more 187, 186. Um, so, and I guess RE is kind of like, has multiple different versions, so it's kind of like an ambiguous question that I asked. But, um, so, that maybe we want to just, I don't know if. I don't know if we want to discuss this while we're going through it or just kind of fly through it real quick and then at the end, whatever comments you have, I guess, let's do it that way. To note, most of these were multiple checkbox too. Yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, what you I did have was. To pick a favorite. So, yeah, so like say uh, say you had 192 and 187, that would count as like one vote for each or whatever, you know, and then like the other ones wouldn't count. And then I just counted up, all right, 57 people said 192 of some sort, 53 people said 187 or something like that. So. Are you using anything other than votes listed? Um, let's see, so I asked kind of what testing frameworks are, are your active project using? And so it seems like kind of RSpec, Cucumber, Capybara, those in test units seem to be kind of the popular, like kind of what I would expect, I guess. I didn't really, wasn't really too surprised there. Uh, probably as a result of Dave's presentation last week, uh, or last session, many tests is now in fourth as to like testing frameworks that you want. I think there was a lot of Indianapolis uh, respondents, so I think they're probably they're like, man, I really gotta try this on the next project. So you can see your impact there. I've never heard of a testing yeah. framework wrong. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was some guy who uh, was really excited to be the the sole respondent of the wrong thing, and he was like really excited about that. <laughs> so, it, was, it was cool. Um, and then let's see. So and then kind of as far as like mocking or subbing, our spec mocks. Okay. I use RR, which is I'm gonna make another. Uh, the, the other main presentations on that, um, so maybe we'll get that higher for the next one. But, uh, so kind of al almost the exact same graph actually for these these ones basically. So. Anyway. Um, and then what do you use to like generate test data? So instead of using fixtures, what else would you use? Still, a lot of people do use fixtures as the second biggest, which I was kind of surprised at. Although, I mean, there's probably a lot of older projects and stuff like that. You're wrong. Well, <laughs> sorry. so there it is. But it's not going anywhere because it's still in third place as to what you, what would you use if you were going to start a new project. So kind of, I thought that was kind of interesting. So, so along those lines, there's a uh, project on GitHub called Factory Girl Rails, I think. Mm -hmm. Rails Factory Girl, uh, which if you drop that in your chip file, make one line change in your application mm -hmm. RV, then uh, scaffold and other generators will make factories instead of fixtures for you. And it's so much more awesome. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, so any questions or you guys want to talk about this at all? Or? So I just want to say that I, uh, I started my new job like about a month ago now. In our first sprint, we, I had everybody using mini tests. Nice. And then they all complained that they couldn't buy a book from the pragmatic programmers about mini tests. <laughs> and they had one about the yeah, they had the RSpec book sitting on their desk. So we use RSpec there. 
okay. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Not only are you in a, cub you're in a cubicle, but you have to use R spec now. That's right. And also, I think it's been tweeted, I don't think we talked about it last time, though. The, I think a lot of people think that R spec documentation maybe online is bad. And I think part of that is because the website that comes up first in search results is like R spec.info and has for years. But the good documentation is actually at like relishapp.com slash rspec or something like that. Just search for rspec and then about the fourth link down it'll say relish. And that's, it's like shows all their cucumber steps. Or rspec2. Yeah, rspec2. So Dave, have you considered including the mini test assertions into your rspec configure block? Like are you, do you enjoy the mini test style of assertion? I missed your presentation. Oh, um, no, I don't really care. Okay. My, my presentation was mostly how to make mini tests kind of look like our spec. Because I actually like the specking stuff. Uh -huh. Some of the matchers. It's just, I think our spec is slow. And oh, okay. It, it, I, I don't like it. <coughs> but now I use it every day. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hydra on all your developers' machines. So have you written like a converter? No, I've been fighting with Capybara lately. It's so, it, it, and rack test because they don't handle subdomains at all really very well. Or not subdomains, like if you change the host that you're testing in the middle of your tests, um, it really can't handle that at all. So I'm in another epic, epic battle with that. I remember having that battle with QLARITY, but it was like a three day battle. I, I went into the product owner today and I said, can we just point our acceptance tests at the QA server? And he said, yeah, sure. I was like, awesome. So I can, I can get rid of rack tests for that. Yeah. All right. So is that anything else on that? If you guys are really like into the data or something like that, you can do like some kind of Google map thing. Because I ask people like, where where are you from, or where do you primarily work in, or whatever, so you can like map out. Okay, this is the way our spec is heading east to west, or something like that. I'm really, <laughs> really excited about that. Uh, another one. His full spreadsheets up there too. Yeah, and there's a, and like there's a bunch that. of like comments. Uh, like uh, it's kind of an open-ended kind of question at the end. There's a bunch of like really you know good questions and also like potential follow-up questions and stuff like that like you know oh I really would have liked to have seen blah so so the, uh, the fixture stuff it, I assume that is because DHH is still behind fixtures right I mean he's is that what he still uses yeah. just the out of the box experience so. so I mean that seems like one of those things that I just wonder at some point if finally he's going to be like okay factory girl or whatever Not you know one up on him on Twitter yeah. <laughs> He's that's, pushing back even harder on it. Let's just, let's just all gang up on DHH on Twitter next week and, and try and get a factory girl as a newbie. I mean, jQuery is the default now. There's a much more yeah. passive aggressive way to do it, right? Which is to submit a, a pull request. Once one is, right? Yeah. I'll submit a pull request. Same <laughs> <Stay> patch. <laughs>